All right, I was able to get a hold of this new Samsung Galaxy uh, Slate PC, the Series 7. Uh, this is pretty much the one they gave out at the developers conference, uh, the bit with the build in it, uh, which was running the Windows developers preview, Windows 8. Uh, so far, uh, we'll have to take a look and we'll be testing this out. As you can see, uh, what comes in here. It's nicely packaged in here. Uh, from the bottom, you can see it's got a docking station port. It's got the speaker on the bottom on both sides. And it's got the PSU right there, the power on this corner. Mini uh, HDMI, the volumes right here. Uh, headset here. And a USB here, which is a 3.0. On the top, it's got the micro SD card. Um, which it would have been nice if they would have put a full size uh, SD card there, but being so thin, um, it's probably why they didn't do it. It's very, very thin, and I mean, I, I think this is pretty light where you can be able to hold it. And actually, yeah, it's very light. You can one hand hold it and be able to read, as you can see. And it's got another microphone up here. And as we go down this side, the power is on the right hand side there. And here's a lock for the rotation. And here it has another little door, which is for the SIM card for the 3G support. And nothing else in the bottom. And of course, up front, it's got the camera in the center, as you can see there. And uh, the back is very nice and clean from the back. Not too many things are in the back. It's got a little reset. Uh, hole here for the, which you can if you're gonna need to reset it you can put a like a paper clip in there and I'll reset it and it's got the rear camera which is a three megapixel camera would have been nice if they included at least a five megapixel camera being as this is a nice top of the line unit this is gonna be really good for Windows 8 and so is for Windows 8 uh, 7 excuse me I'll be, I'll be putting in Windows 8 uh, preview in here and see how it works out you can see the vents here, it's got another here and on each corner here as well and the sides here. So let's see what, um, let's set this aside. I'll do another video with it on and do running Windows 8 as well. It's got a little, I guess, uh, oh, it's got a little cleaning cloth. Oh, it's pretty nice, they include a restore disk. Uh, this one I guess it comes with Windows Professional installed. And it's got all the booklets here. I'm not going to go through all those booklets uh, in here. Show you how to use it. Uh, let's put this away here. And put that away. And then see what's underneath as well. Not very much in here. Just your typical power adapter which is very very light this, this is going to be really nice if you need to take this with you uh, only thing is uh, I wish they probably would have included a regular bigger um, for travel charging so that means that you probably have to pick up another one of these or find somebody that already has a smaller tip for this type of unit to charge like in a universal charger like for the car chargers and all that and that's your other cable and here's the stylus they include a stylus in here because this does have that Wacom digitizer and they're including there's a stylus or tip remover you put it and then you pull it out and it comes with extra tips here as you can see well they include quite a bit of tips looks like they've included five here uh, there I believe they're different tips uh, I believe some of them are like a really soft tip where it's not gonna make no noise uh, when you're actually using it as a writing pad let's see what they've included on uh, let's pull this out here yeah you can see this uh, it's got the nice tip as well so if you can look at it, it almost looks like a carbon type tip, which will make this writing very smooth. 
and there you have the button that should be a right click the top is uh, would be like an eraser as you push it down in some of the applications so we're gonna have to give this a test test it out and see how well this is gonna work out